guys, bienvenidos. Welcome back to our channel. And today, we're talking about Mexican things that are impossible to explain to foreigners. I made a list of things that people are constantly asking me about or that just come up in conversations with foreigners. And then they ask, what is that? And I'm like, and I never know how to explain them, so I'm gonna attempt to do it today. How do you want to explain things that you cannot explain? <laughs> because I just looked it up on Google. <laughs> but I don't know if I'm just dumb. Please let me know in the comments at the end of the video. Probably she's the only one that doesn't understand how to explain it. Yeah. I'm gonna let myself be surprised. Also, on Saturday, it's Joss's birthday. Yeah. Which was yesterday, because we upload that video on Sunday. If Yannick <laughs> If I time edit it on edit. time. Yeah. So guys, wish her a happy birthday in the comment section. Thing number one. Polvo Miguelito. Uh -huh, I've never heard of that. No, I have. You have. I have. Is that not stuff and candy? Yeah, it's like a candy. It's, it's a powder. It's a powder. I tried to explain to Yannick what it is or what does it taste like and it was so difficult. It's kind of candy, but it's like salt, but sweet but sour and spicy too so yeah. it's everything so and i want to read you the google answer miguelito chamoy is a sweet spicy and sour candy all at the same time a party in your mouth a delicious and fun candy made with a base of salt sugar and chile yeah so we explained it it's just salt sugar chili so tell me can you lemon can you imagine what it tastes like yeah like all of that together mixed you can actually You're do. So boring. You can create your own Miguelito polvo. No. Of course, get a small bowl. <laughs> because put you know, some sugar. You've never tried it. Everything the same amount: salt, <laughs> sugar, chili, and a little bit of lemon juice on top. That's it, and you have your own Miguelito de la casa. <laughs> you have no idea. You've never even tried it. Is anybody out there with the name Miguel? Hola, Miguelito. Shout out to you. <laughs> the next one. You you guys are gonna say I'm dumb. Foreigners have such a hard time imagining what a tamal is. Okay, You've tried I know it. perfectly. You take masa, which is... Dough. <laughs> what? Okay, you take that stuff, right? <laughs> I take that stuff. <laughs> you take some water, you put maybe some, I don't know, salt in there, and you mix it and you have this tortilla type of... Masa. Masa. You put some stuff in the middle, <laughs> you wrap it around, and then you wrap that into banana leaves. And then you cook it. I probably would have said the same thing as you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a tamal is a traditional Mesoamerican dish made of masa or dough, starchy and usually corn based, mm -hmm. which is steamed in a corn husk or banana leaf. Mm -hmm. Tamales can be filled with meats, cheeses, fruits, vegetables, chilies or any preparation according to taste. Pretty good. It's sad that you cannot explain what a tamal is. Even I could. I can I'm German. A <laughs> I can explain it just like the same way as you. Yeah, perfect. But I have to say every single time I explain it to someone, their faces are like, uh-huh. And then you show them the photo and it's just like a banana leaf. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next one. This is something that you can explain, but they will never understand why we do this. Why do we put hot sauce over popcorn? I can kind of understand it. Yeah, because you're like very Mexican now. But I yeah. swear, I swear, I've tried to explain to so many foreigners and they're like, how could you ever? And it wasn't until you came to Mexico that you tried it like this. Oh my God, the way Yannick was trying things at the beginning was so dumb. He was like, <laughs> and now? Okay, in the beginning, I really didn't like popcorn with Valentina. What I liked was popcorn with chamoy yeah. and lemon juice. And then one point we were in Mexico and we ordered popcorn, but you put hot sauce on top. I ate it and I thought it was chamoy and I was like, hmm, <laughs> it's not bad. And that's why I now like Valentina on popcorn. <laughs> okay, the next one is something that is controversial, bro. Let's do this. Some foreigners cannot understand why are they white Mexicans. No, for real. You've, you've said that several times. You're like, is she Mexican? But she's white. <laughs> That's true. I don't know what I can say to defend myself. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was in San Luis Potosí a couple of times. Mm -hmm. And in San Luis Potosí, there are really barely any white... Oh, yeah, there's some. There's a lot of white <laughs> people, dude. Did you see? Forget that. <laughs> Man, it sounds stupid. Don't hate on me, please. <laughs> no. But I thought... Mexicans in general would have darker skin. Yeah, most of them. And apparently I've, I've heard from a lot of my friends that are like lighter skin tones mm -hmm. that they get that question asked from foreigners too. Oh yeah? They're like, 
Are you sure you're Mexican? <laughs> but you are so white. Yeah, so uh, there are also white Mexicans. Like it's it's hard and to they're... believe, but it's true. <laughs> 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 no, it's cool. Like diversity <laughs> is amazing. Look at us, diverse. <laughs> Look at Yannick trying Darker, to save his ass. <laughs> white. No hate on Yannick. He knows no. he was ignorant, no. and now he's <laughs> oh, enlightened. God. So dumb. Just understand that we're a mixture, and we come in every shape, color, and personality. You say that. In every video. <laughs> I know, but I'm trying to educate everybody, okay? So I've noticed the next one with my parents-in-law. And they cannot understand why do we have a 15 años party and why is it such a big party. Yeah. The 15 años is obviously not a thing in Germany and that's why the people are like, why, why do you celebrate 15th birthday so big? Some people get a trip yeah. around the world. The rich on the kids other side get a car. World. Some people get a car. Really? With 15? I had a friend that got a car at 15. Like, you cannot I don't even, think can you can drive. drive. <laughs> oh my god. Or you just get a huge crazy party like she did. I don't know how people celebrate anymore, but back in the day, it was pretty common to rent nightclubs. But now I, I don't think they do that anymore. Let's be honest, everybody. Joss is old now, so she doesn't really know how it's done nowadays. How dare you? You weirdo. I'm 25, you respect me. In two days? 26. Oh, oh no. 26. Next topic, y'all. Cringe. Okay, something that also foreigners have to deal with when they go to Mexico is that we put lemon in everything. Oh yeah, even on fries. Yes, oh. And whenever my mom hears something new where you put lemon on, she's like, what? <laughs> Why would you do that? That doesn't pass to salmon. <laughs> that doesn't pass to salmon. <laughs> is it lemon or lime? I never know. I'm not sure either. When I make stories and I'm like, look at this lemon, they're like, that's a lime. <laughs> okay, please let us know because yeah. this would like changed my entire life. So I only have one last one. I had this discussion today with your grandpa okay. and with your mom. Uh -huh. We say usted to older people, even if it's your grandpa. I say like, como esta to my grandpa. Yeah. I don't say como estas. Okay, I have to say, in Germany we also have two versions. We have du for you and then z for like formal you, like who's dead. To everybody of my family, I say do. If I'm friends with someone and that person is older, I would also say do at mm. one point. For me? I would only say who's dead in Germany to a person that I don't really know. But I learned that in Mexico, I will never be able to say to to her parents. And it's so Even weird because it feels, it feels like there's always a distance in between us. I feel like I'm still a stranger to them. Oh. Still. Yeah. After four years. Maybe after they watch this video, they're gonna be like, you can call us too, mijo. <laughs> Hopefully, please. <laughs> please send me a message. <laughs> when I first came to Germany and I was talking to Janik's parents and he was like, just call them their names. I was like, how is that allowed? Who the hell do I think I am? Janik's grandpa also wants me to be like, sup, bro? <laughs> and I just, it's so weird for me. For me, it would be weird if you call him Z. In general, I feel like this whole thing about formal you shouldn't exist yes it should be like in english only one thing exists and that is you like mm. who cares if it's like an older person or younger person if it's like a stranger <laughs> or not they're all people we're all the same we're all equal so <laughs> especially like a few years ago i was working in a restaurant as a waiter right the restaurant was inside of a fitness club and when i started working there they told me to all the people that work in this fitness club you can say do the informal mm -hmm. you that's what i did and then there was one woman one single woman weird woman and i told her no, 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 do and she was so upset and she was like how dare you call me do i'm still z for you and that rhymed <laughs> <laughs> That. She was a rapper. She was so upset. How dare you call me to have to sing for you? <laughs> she was so upset and she was making me cry. No. no. She was humiliating me in front of everybody in the freaking restaurant because she was also not speaking like this. Hey, that's not okay, okay? She was like, How dare you, guy? <laughs> Men, woman, just get your ass out of your butt. <laughs> your ass out of your butt? That didn't even make any sense. Get your head out of your butt. It's like, first of all, it's not a big deal. Second, just you can tell me this in a nice way. Uh, and oh. third, do you think you're better than me only because you're older? <laughs> I don't know if we can put this in the video. After this, after this, I was so angry. 
They just want to feel better than you. They just want to and feel powerful. And make you feel bad in front of other people. It's just They want to feel like they're in a different level, so they need yeah. to be treated with respect. But now I also have a story. Tell and me. I want to put this here just because I want my aunt to see this. <laughs> I'm not going to say who you are, but maybe you remember, okay? I have a, I have a tia from a different city Yeah. that I love. Like, we get along very good. Uh-huh. So every time I see her, it's like, ¿Cómo estás? Informal. Somehow we've always talked like that to each other. She's totally okay with it. But I think it wasn't my, my sister's wedding. I saw my tia, the cool one, and I was like, Hola tia, ¿Cómo estás? Uh-huh. And the other tia heard. And the other tia told me, Who do you think you are, young kid? <laughs> you should be treating her with respect and saying usted. She was so mean because I just say, ¿Cómo estás? to the other, to the other one. That pissed me off, so I wanted to expose her. <laughs> Long story short, the difference shouldn't exist. <laughs> In my opinion, it just, it's just my personal opinion, guys, okay? You can have a completely different opinion. But it only leads to problems. Yeah, it's always, and it's complicated for me as a Mexican that I'm used to calling older people with usted. It's so complicated when I meet somebody like your grandpa and I say tú and I have a mini heart attack right after saying that thinking, oh shit. <laughs> I said too, and I should have done instead, just like you with my dad. And it's so hard to guess, is this person okay with me calling it too or usted? So that was a rant. <laughs> <laughs> Please guys, let us know what you think about this topic specifically. I want to know, okay? About usted and About too? to you usted. I don't know if the things that we were talking about were actually impossible to explain. It's just things that are difficult for me to express. Let us know if you can relate to these difficulties also from different countries if it works the same way. And we hope you like this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel if you're not already. I will see you next week. Adios muchachos. Cheers.